All right, boys. The time has come for us to go and beat up some bandits in Fire Emblem, as usual. Because we can't have a chapter of Fire Emblem without having to fight bandits. It's like a common thing in this series. But anyway, hello everyone, and welcome back to more Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. In the last episode, we beat up some bandits in Ide who were causing trouble, and Erica's bracelet got stolen by some dude. So we have to go to Borgo Ridge and get it back under any means necessary, because apparently it's important. So that's what we're doing. Erica and company pursue the thief who stole her bracelet. Their chase leads them into the mountains, where Bazba's bandits pillage at will. Erica cannot ignore her countrymen's pleas for help. She leads her group in search of the bandit's stronghold. Alright. Let's do it. The Bandits of Borgo! The local villagers tell me that Bazba's bandits keep their lair nearby. A few of them saw a lad matching the description of our bracelet thief. It seems a fair guess that you is one of those bandits. Bandits. Here in Renai is our homeland. I had no idea. Burning our villages. Stealing from our people with no fear of appraisal. It wasn't always like this. The knights used to protect the citizenry. However, for Nias in ruins and her army tattered, law and order are hard to find. It doesn't look like the Grotto army is interested in maintaining an order here. If nothing changes, Renias will continue this sad plunge into savagery. Uh, oh, wait, what? Hello? Pardon me for asking, but are you all some sort of mercenary troop? Why do you ask? But, but please you have to help Colm. You have to! I told him it was too dangerous, but he wouldn't listen to me. Please, you must calm yourself. Start at the beginning and speak slowly. Alright. I'm Naomi. I'm from... I used to be from a village named Lark. Except the village is gone. Gone? What do you mean? Basbo's bandits burned it down. Only Colm and I escaped. The other villagers... The bandits attacked them and... Naomi, what are you doing here? Basmus bandits, they have a hideout here in these mountains. That's where Colm... Um, Colm's my, uh... We've known each other since we were kids. He went to steal back something from the bandits took from me. He went alone? That's a very dangerous thing. Yes, I know. Th that's why I told him, him, but he wouldn't listen to me. If I lose Colm too, I don't know. Uh, I'll... Wait, please don't cry. Don't worry, we'll find your friend and see that he's not harmed. Really? Really and truly? Oh, thank you! Thank you! I... I don't have much money, but... I'll do anything to help. Your Highness, what will it be? If the thief we're after has gone to the bandit's lair as well. Well, it seems as though we share a common cause with Naomi. She is the citizen of Renias, after all. And isn't it our duty to defend our countrymen? I'm only sad that we went here to protect her for friends and neighbor, neighbors. So yes, I feel we must help her. Very well. Naomi, I trust you can lead the way. Uh, yes, it's this way. Alright, here we are. Um, is there anything I can do to help? I feel so. When I was little, I used to go hunting with my grandfather. What I mean is, is I can... I'm not bad with a bow. Really? Uh-huh. I see. You should remain behind to protect Princess Erica. Huh, not sure who's out there, but it looks like we got some guests. Let's give him a warm welcome, lads. You see a stranger, stick an axe in him. Alright, so we have Naomi here, and she is our first, she's only level one. Oh my god. Of course. <laughs> oh, of course. But anyway, we have more axe guys. Random archer. A mercenary with an antitoxin. Wait a minute. I just want to see something. If he has an antitoxin, there's a possibility of poison weapons in this chapter. Or not. Wow, no poison weapons. Though that bandit over there has a chest key and a door key. Those things are sort of important, but we won't need to worry about those shortly. So we're going to have Niamh. 
Instead of having Naomi attack this guy, because we can use her to do that, we're going to have her come up here. Well, meanwhile, we just have Ross hand axe this guy. Well, not him. I mean, that's 60%. That's only doing 7. I'm just gonna go for it. Because Ross is getting experience at a very quick rate, and that's really good. Okay, well, that's fine. Defense is nice. And then Vanessa can just come on up here. I mean, we can attack the wall. We're not gonna attack the wall. Let's just start filling in over here. I mean, we could have. I could have attacked the wall. I should have attacked the wall. Too late now, though. So let's just move on in. Like this. And then Mulder can just hang out there. We can't really do much this turn. And here we go! Ha! And now a soul saw me. These bandits are easy picking. I guess I might as well start with these chests here. Alright, well there's our guy. So we take Naomi over here. And let's talk to this guy. This is Colm! Who looks a bit familiar though! You know, kinda like a certain dude who just stole a certain someone's bracelet. C Colm. Naomi, what are you doing here? I told you to wait for me, didn't I? I couldn't. It's too dangerous. Come on, let's go home. We don't have a home. Don't you get it? Look, just leave everything to me. I can take care of it in a flash, but I don't need a clumsy oaf like you tagging along. But, but... Oh, this is ridiculous. We'll talk later. Don't leave my side, Naomi. I... Alright. Alright. Wait, can we... Alright, yeah, they have a support. So, supports are a thing in this game too, but, you know, we're just gonna have you... Oh my god. What level are you, by the way? Two. Okay. Honestly, let's do the support now. Naomi. Oh, hi, Colm. How are you doing? This is no time for pleasantry. You need to concentrate in battle. I was just being polite. I never thought I'd see you on the battlefield. Well, I might not be the best, but when something needs to be done, I do it. It's amazing how war affects people. I mean, look at you. You're a bumbling crybaby who even you hold yourself together temporarily. Uh, when we were little, you followed me up you were tripping and crying. Oh, why are you always so mean? <laughs> And now look at you, you're still following me everywhere, tripping and crying. But now you're doing it on the battlefield! Will you please stop your boo-hooing? Wow, you're a real dick, Colm! Man, you can't do anything without me, can you? And stop crying! But... What is it? You're the one who's making me cry. Ugh! <laughs> oh my gosh! But yeah, support levels. They're a thing. Meanwhile, let's kill you. Ross, you can do it, right? No, actually. Okay, well... Fuck. Fine. Watch us hit him again. Get Ross all this experience. And meanwhile, Vanessa... can just come on over here. And hopefully she won't die immediately, but, you know... We can only hope. I mean, I always put Garcia in. Let's put Garcia right there. And then we'll have our boy Seth start making his move. We'll just leave a couple units over here so that way we, when we're done with this guy we can bust down the wall and just start going in. Okay, here we go. Eight. Good. I should double him. There you go, it's great! Good work, Vanessa! You're actually getting somewhere! Oh my god, she still has level up. Alright, Colm, now you're going to come over here and you're going to start picking these chests. And Vanessa, well, you can't really do anything right now. We're just going to have Ross kill this guy first. There you go. Gone. Give me that level. I mean, I'm fine. Ooh, a res growth. That's fine. And we got a door key, so we can unlock the door over there, but, you know, <laughs> that requires me to get to it first. So let's just start moving on in. I mean, we can always have Naomi attack that one bandit from from beyond the wall, which is probably what I'll do. 
and then you two can just go on ahead. I don't need to bust down the wall now. Especially since we have Colm. Alright, speaking of Colm, let's start picking some chests. Again, Iron Sword, which is always useful. Vanessa has a javelin too, I just rem I have to remember that. But there is an archer right there, and he will definitely kill Vanessa if I let him do it. So we need to keep her kind of safe, because I don't want to lose units to the first five chapters of the game. You know, this isn't the Binding Blade where bad things happen and hit rates suck, so then I end up losing units all the time because of bad hit rates. You know, definitely not like that. This isn't that kind of game. All right, Ross, bust down this wall. All right, should be fine for now. The goal of the moment is to just get all these chests. I got a hand axe! Wow, literally already wasting money be overall because items I already have. And then the game just gives them to me for free. Well, sort of for free. Alright, Naomi, your time to shine has come. Why is a hand axe! Oh yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. I'm gonna have to kill you first. So, to do that, let's unlock this door. This is a siege chapter, okay, good. Alright, Erica. We're gonna use the rapier, for safety's sake. Bye. Perfect. Level 6 on Erica. That is nice, nice strength growth. And a weapon level increase, that's nice too. Alright, Garcia. Get in there, boyo. No, we don't need a rescue. We're gonna flip the hand axe. And Naomi can just start attacking this guy. He doesn't have a hand axe, so that's useful. And Ross, bust out the wall. We're gonna have... Actually, I can't do that. I need to wait so I can send Vanessa. Because archers will obliterate her in a matter of like three seconds. And I really don't want that. I actually kind of want to use a Pegasus like the whole game because, you know, the first time I tried, yeah, it didn't end well. Uh oh. Okay, good. And Thief. Oh, you're gonna go for Garcia. Oh, what?! You stole my mother, you bastard! Alright, you know what? Let's go for you. Okay. One more. There you go. Easy kill. Don't need to worry about him anymore. And now... Now Vanessa can come over here and kill you. Or not. Wow, you double her. Okay, you know what? Javelin, go. Well, I didn't kill either. Okay, then. Calm. Finish him. Really? Gosh damn it, Calm. You're already proving to be a disappointment. Alright, friends. Finish him. There we go. I'm not getting that vulnerability back, but, you know, at least I got a kill. Level 3. I mean, that's decent, but I still have Seth. I literally have little reason to keep this guy. And Naomi, hit this guy. Now, while she's killing that dude, I cannot send Ross over to. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, I have a door key! Duh. Colm took a hit, so I'm gonna wanna heal him up. And we can just have Seth come over here like this. Have this giant defensive line over here, like what the heck? Erica can just come down here, and we're gonna give her the iron sword. And Molder, yeah. Oh my God, you just sealed your fate, guy. Seth, show him how we do it. There we go. <laughs> you fool. 
trying to attack Seth. That's just asking for you have a hand axe, don't you? Okay, so I see how you're gonna play this game. Alright, Vanessa. I wanna get you some experience. Okay. Oh my gosh, Vanessa, please! You're proving to be a disappointment, and I don't like that. That's a bad sign. Get out of here. I mean, Naomi's not really doing too well either. Got a chest key, though, so we can unlock this door. And Mulder can slide on in here. Wait, what? Oh, right, yeah, Colm took damage. Yeah, I can heal him, too. Actually, speaking of Colm, can you actually kill this guy? Yes. Good. Bye. There we go. Or Colm. And then we... We're gonna hold on for a bit, because I want Vanessa to get experience from killing the mercenary. Because at least in this situation, she'll actually perform well to be being a lance user against a sword. Plus, it's Mulder's time to get more experience, so, you know. And Colm, you can get back to your chest to be peace. While Naomi opens up this other one. Get a javel! Oh my gosh, really? Now let's have Ross rejoin the squad. I didn't even intend to use the hand axe. It was just like a... Whatever, too late now. I can give that javel into like... Gilliam. Despite his bad movement, I can pro you can probably get some mileage out of it. Alright, boy. Bring those cheeks over here. Oh my god, don't double him. Are you serious? Well, this is getting a level. Vanessa! You're already proving to be a very disappointing unit. I mean, speed is nice, so I might be able to actually get away giving you the Iron Lance. But, seriously, though. You're not gonna get anywhere if you're lackluster damage. Do you have a hand axe? Yeah, he does. He also has a steel axe, which is a little frightening. Alright, Colm, come over here and unlock this here chest. And then we'll get everyone else on and moving. Actually, I want to give that javelin to Gilliam. But Naomi should reach him shortly. Alright, give me this. An iron- Are you serious?! <sighs> Alright, hand axe is going to supply. And then we can hand over this javelin to Seth so we can hand it over to Gilliam. So that way he has more to work with than just an iron lance. Speaking of iron lance... Two! Yeah, no. Not even gonna try that. Garcia, how much do you do? Seven! But your hit rate is extremely shaky. Alright, how much does Erica do then? Five! Doubles him and has a very reliable hit rate! But she dies in literally two hits! I mean, that's fine and all, but, you know. Wow, Franz, how much does he do? Five! I mean, he. he can take two hits. Well, no, he can't. He can only take one. Because the second hit will kill him. Alright. I may have a plan here. But we need to get Mulder somewhere where he won't. Who needs to heal? Oh, Vanessa. We should have access to buying heal staves soon, so I won't need to worry that much about wasting heals. Okay, Gilliam. You're probably doing, like, no damage. Yeah, he's doing no damage. So let's just get Colm over here. 
But we have plenty of throwable weapons and other stuff that we can use on this guy. So let's just fill in all the spots. Alright, Ross, how much do you do? Six! Three! Oh my god. I am a bit worried, so I'm not gonna have Ross go in. We're gonna see if Erica can do it. I'm the head of this bandit pack, the mighty basketball! Hope you enjoyed your life, cause it's about to end! Okay. Ah! Uh that's not doing that much, but, you know, whatever. It's reliable damage. Alright. Brands, you can go for two hits. Okay, good. Okay, five HP left. I mean, I could probably have Naomi kill you. Never mind, she only does two. Let's go for it anyway. Okay, now he only has 3 HP left! We may be able to do this with Ross. Yeah! I'm the mighty Baspa! This ain't... This ain't what? You're dead, pal, so you ain't got any room to complain. Give me the- Oh my gosh, please! But fine. Well, next turn we're done here. So let's just seize the thing, and we're done. C come. What now? I told you not to worry. I could have robbed those bandits blind on my own. Thank you very much. I was worried. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. Come on. Don't start bawling. Oh, gosh. No more dangerous stuff by yourself. Fine, fine. I promise. You don't have to stop crying all the time, alright? Uh... Oh yeah, take a look at this. Hmm? I got your mirror back. Remember how you cried when you left Lark? You thought you lost this. I knew it was your mother, so I know those thugs have taken it. So I went and got it back. See what happens when you give me a job? Guaranteed results. Cool. Oh gosh. Hey! What? Why are you crying this time? Come on, stop! Knock it off! Please, Naomi! This is quite touching, but... I think you best return Princess Erica's bracelet to her now. W what are you talking about? Are you just trying to say that I... Whoa! Whoa there! Hold it! It's right here! Take it! Tell me, boy. Is this the path you've chosen for your life? If this girl matters to you, you must quit this dark road. Uh, yeah, right. We're leaving. Don't, do not expect to be rescued again. Farewell. Hey, wait! Let's go with you. You can't just leave us here. Pardon? Naomi and I, we've got no home to return to. No matter where we go, there's just going to be more fighting. You're mercenaries, right? Well, then take us with you. I'm a handy guy to have around. I know I can help you out. I would prefer not, but I'll agree with Erica's decision. Our duty is a grave one, however. We have no time to waste shepherding you. That's fine with us! You just wait! I promise you, you won't grant yet your decision! Oh god. I retrieved your bracelet from the bandit stronghold. Here you are, princess. Thank you, Seth. You know, father gave me this bracelet when I was a child. It has only one match in the world and my brother wears it. Lady Erica, you must take care never to lose that bracelet. It is the proof that King Fado entrusted the future of Bernice to you, his children. Seth, what is it you're not telling me? I apologize, Your Highness. When the time comes, I'll tell you what I know. Until then, I... I see. If you tell me it must wait, then it can wait. I trust you. Then we should get moving again. We're safe from bandits for now, but I can't guarantee for how long. This... this is just the beginning, isn't it? If we hope to free our home mind, it will take battle after battle. I'm afraid so, Your Highness. The day you and Prince Arafin will win back the freedom and honor of Renias will come. I fear it lies at the end of a long and treacherous road. I know. I must fight for that day. In the names of all those I could not save, I'll lead us home. Let's go. My brother awaits. Grotto Keep! 
General Giselle. Selena, how have you been? How long have you been back long? Tell me, how fair is the campaign in Renias? Signs of chaos abound. Brigands ride without fear, and the peasants' cries fill the air. Hmm. If Corrado's troops do not enforce public order, this situation will only worsen. And still, His Majesty has given us no orders. Perhaps, just this once, I should take the lead. What could His Majesty be thinking? Breaking our long-held alliance with Renias? Invading without warning? He's never been this way before. He abhors violence. And have you noticed the recent promotions? Where are they, where are they going to? Certainly not to the soldiers who have Grotto's best interests at heart. I fear this invasion is the prelude to a much larger war. I feel as though His Majesty is no longer the man we knew him to be. Glenn, it doesn't matter what any of us might think of, his, of our orders. We are his servants and we will not question His Majesty's intentions. I know that, Selina, and yet... That's enough, both of you. His Majesty summons us. Let's hope we can learn a little during our audience. Oh gosh. I appreciate your work in fulfilling your previous orders. You are the hammers that drive the nails of the Empire's will. You will continue to operate, without hesitation. Wherever I send you. By your command. In your majesty's name. Yes, sire. However, I know this. You, my Imperial Three, lack the strength to conquer the remaining nations alone. In the invasion of Renaya, certain soldiers perform beyond expectation. I have chosen them to join you as new generals in the Empire's service. Come! The performance of these men and ever surpassed even your own. With the addition of these three, the Empire will have six generals strong enough to conquer this land. Do you understand? <laughs> I am Riv, given the name Blood Barrel by His Majesty. I know I am a newcomer, but I pray for your favor. Understood. I'm Kalith. I'm a mercenary fighting in the desert. Seems I'm to be called the Ti- well, Tiger Eye. You're a fine-looking lass, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna love working with you. Oh god. So we meet again. You know me, General Walter. But you will call me the Moonstone. I'll save you worthless dogs your own comeuppance. You'll thank me later. Walter, you scum! Peace, Glenn. Selina, Kalith, you will bring me Fralia. Yes, sire. Sure, good as done. Riev, Dussel, you are charged the defense of the Empire. I will speak to you individually with more details later. <laughs> Understood, your majesty. By your command, sire. And me? Volta, Glenn, I have other duties for you. Yes, your majesty. Renias has fallen, but Princess Erica still eludes us. Her brother, Prince Arifrim, leads a resistance within our borders. Bring the siblings to me. Ha <laughs> Of course! I don't think Gwen really likes this plan. I'm not liking this either, and I'm not liking the sound of Chapter 4's title! But! We're gonna be doing Chapter 4 next time! And clearly bad things are going on in Grotto, which is like somewhere down here, I think. I don't know. I think it's down here somewhere. But we'll be going there eventually. For now, Chapter 4 awaits us next time on Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. I'll see you then. And I'll probably be updating equipment off screen.